great photo hey guys so today i've got a great photoshop tutorial on how to make it look like you are a train so first of all you're going to want to get a nice um nice picture of a train this one i think is pretty good actually so you just kind of resize it so it fits all right so now what you want to do you're going to want to get the picture of you right so i've got a picture of me right here so now what you're going to do you want to make it pretty big right oops not that big i guess smaller so what i'm going to do i'm going to go up here click crop into a circle so what i'm going to be doing when i crop this into a circle i'm going to be trying to get it right on my face there okay so there we go there's my head and then what you're going to do, you're going to drag it and you're going to put it on right in front of the, um, right in front of the train. So this, um, yeah. So if you want, you can kind of, you know, mess with it a bit. But actually, I think I was pretty lucky here and this actually looks, uh, it looks very, very good. So if you want to, you can, um, do this again. And then you can actually, uh. You can get, you can crop one of your legs. You can choose which one you think looks better. In my opinion, this one's better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this here, right? Oops, daisies. What did I do? It's sorry. Nope. What do I keep doing? Uh, that's what I'm doing. I realize. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. So you're going to get this, right? You can resize it if you want to. Then what you're going to do, you're going to put it on the side of the train. You're going to make it go a little sideways, okay? So just like that. That should be, I think, just like that. Beautiful. Okay, so there's one of my legs. And um, so here's my other leg. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go rotate, flip horizontally. So now it's this way, right? Then I'm going to go and I'm going to crop this. bit shorter here so in this way it'll kind of look like it's coming out of the other side of the train right and if you want to add some depth then you can make this one a bit smaller than that one before so there we go er, yeah so there we go that's um me as uh that's me as a train i think that's really good uh, so remember, this technique does work with most, not all, but most types of trains. So, uh, yeah, I am, yeah, thank you for watching. If this helped you make you look like a train, then definitely, um, email me those, email me those pictures. Just email me, um, do train at melanator.com, and then you can send me those pictures that you made with this amazing technique. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next Photoshop tutorial.